pot pies. I've made lots of them. Lobster pot pie, vegetable pot pie, but I think chicken pot pie is the classic. So for the sauce, what I've done is I've cooked two onions and one and a half sticks of butter and just for about 10 minutes until they're translucent. And then I'm going to thicken it with three quarters of a cup of flour. Just stir it in and cook it for a few minutes just to get rid of that raw flour taste. This is really like making a white sauce. It actually is making a white sauce. <laughs> and after this cook for a minute or so, I'm going to add five cups of chicken stock. I actually have a little trick for chicken stock. Even if it's really flavorful, you want the entire dish to be flavorful. So I'm going to add two bouillon cubes. And then slowly pour this into the, the white sauce of the roux. And what that's going to do is really just thicken it. I need two teaspoons of salt and one teaspoon of pepper. Remember, this has to be really well seasoned because it's going to flavor all the chicken and vegetables. And then because I want it to have a little bit of richness, I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of heavy cream just to give it a little extra flavor. And to this sauce, I'm going to start by adding lots of great vegetables. And the secret is some of them can be frozen vegetables. One and a half cups of frozen onions. Just think how hard it would be to peel all these onions. Ten ounces of frozen peas. Not those tiny little peas, you want good big sized peas. And I blanched some carrots. Two cups. and some fresh parsley, and the last thing is chicken. So five cups of cubed chicken that had been roasted on the bone with the skin on to keep them really nice and succulent. Put it in, just mix it all up. Oh, this looks great. So that's the chicken pot pie filling done. And all I have to do is roll out the crusts. Okay, last part of chicken pot pie is putting the pastry on. I actually made pastry for something else and just froze this pastry so it'd be ready whenever I needed it. And I defrosted it in the refrigerator. You don't want to defrost it at room temperature because you need it to stay really cold. So I'm just going to leave dough there for a minute. So I'm doing individual pot pies, so I'm going to put them in oven-proof ramekins. This filling looks gorgeous. Big chunks of juicy chicken, carrots, whole onions. Mm. Now they need a crust top. So I'm just going to roll out the dough. I'll cut it in fourths. Now if you don't even have time to do the dough, what you can do is get some frozen puff pastry and defrost it in the refrigerator and use that instead. It's light, it's wonderful, and it's really easy. So I'm just going to roll each one of these out into a roll. Maybe about an eight inch round. Flour everything, including yourself. Let me move this over a little bit. When you're rolling out dough to make a round, you want to keep turning it. Roll it from the center out to the edge. This is nice dough. You just want to keep it moving. Make sure it never sticks to the board. You can roll it on wood, but if you have stone, it's even better. Right on the counter. Okay, now the secret to the dough sticking to the dish is just do a little bit of an egg wash that you're going to use on the top anyway around the edge. It makes it a little wet. So just put the dough on top. This is obviously a little too big. And you just want to trim the dough so that it's about half an inch bigger than the bowl. Doesn't have to be perfect. Nice country, homey, rough edge is nice. Just like that. Okay. And then just stick it to the edge of the bowl. And it'll stick because of the egg wash that you put on it. Now just egg wash the top. So the dough puffs up and it's nicely browned. It's going to be wonderful. So when these bake, the steam and the chicken pot pie filling will puff up the dough and it's going to turn out gorgeous. And then I like to season the top with flaked sea salt so you see it. It's just wonderful. Flaked sea salt. Watch out. Lots of flavor. Cracked pepper. 
Okay, that one's done. Just three more. I don't even bother crimping it, just press it right down. And I'm going to bake them for an hour at 375, and they're going to be puffed and succulent chicken pot pies. I think we're all going to have a good time. Wow, those actually look like chicken pot pies. Sometimes I even surprise myself. <laughs>